I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question. We need to write sin 2a in terms of tan a. Now how can you do that? What we learned is that sin 2a is basically equal to 2 times sin a cos a. Now how can you write this as tan a? That's a big question. Okay, so what we can think about is like this. Uh, we can think about this expression to be as sine of a cos of a uh, divided by 1, right? I'm writing it divided by 1 uh, so that I can give you an idea how to solve similar questions. Now, 1 could be written as sine square a plus cos square a is equals to 1, right? Substitute this here and see what do we get. So then we can write our right hand side as 2 sin a cos a divided by sin square a plus cos square a. Correct. Now how to get it in terms of tan? To get it in terms of tan uh, we can divide both numerator and denominator by cos square a. Then what happens? That means we are dividing both numerator and denominator by cos square a. Then what happens? Let us see. So if I divide numerator by cos square a, what will I get? Let me write it first and then I'll show you. So we have 2 sin a cos a and we are dividing it by cos square a. Let me use a different ink. And we divide it by cos square a, right? You need to understand the strategies of how to, this will also help you to solve some trigonometric identities. So sine square a plus cos square a and we divide all of them by cos square a. So let me write separately so that becomes uh, very easy for you to understand what we are really doing. Right? That's it. So when you do that, then in the numerator, you can cancel one of the cos. You are left with 2 sin a over cos a, correct? In the denominator, this becomes 1. And this sin square a over cos square a becomes tan square a. And therefore, I can write this as 2 tan a over sin square a over cos square a is tan square a plus 1. Do you get the idea? So that is how we can write sine 2a as. So we get the new formula now, which is sine 2a can be written as 2 tan a divided by tan square a plus 1 or 1 plus tan square a, any way you can write. So that's, that's the way to write sine 2a in terms of tan a. Right? So when we explore cos 2a, even then, we will write similar expression for cos 2a, right? So, I'd like you to go through this video once again and understand how we utilized dividing by 1 to get a different identity for sine 2a. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.